All right, welcome back to a brand new video. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and set up a simple homepage just so that our users can actually, you know, see some stuff on the homepage and they'll know what exactly to do when they arrive on this page. Okay, because right now it's not obvious what they should be doing. So what I want to do is I just want to set up a simple button. Okay. And um, I just want the user just to be able to just click the button and then they should just be able to, it, it should just be able to redirect them to the API. Okay. So uh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and set up a button and we're going to use some, uh, let's see, we'll use a CSS module. So I think what I'll do is I'll define the module inside this styles folder. So let's do uh, home module.scss. So we're not going to be using styled components. Now you actually could get styled components to work, but I remember one time I was I was trying to get it to work in, after you know getting it to work in development mode, and uh, when I was trying to run it in production, there were like so many issues. So I'm not going to use use styled styled components, uh, and I think just using regular CSS and SCSS is completely fine. So let me go ahead and import the uh, the CSS module. So we'll just call this styles, and then we'll import this from go out one, go inside utils, go inside styles, and then go inside home module SCSS. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do this actually. I'm actually going to remove this class name, and I actually want to define a custom page. Well, you know, actually, I'm going to do something even better i'm going to create a flex page so we'll do flex or actually i'll call this centered page uh or let me do page aligned center because i want to have a page where everything is just like directly in the middle so it'll inherit similar properties here but we'll just have it set to we'll display it to flex and then we'll have align items at the center and then justify content set to center. So we're just uh, vertically and horizontally going to align our button. Okay. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to just place page with that. Okay. And I, I think actually, uh, I think maybe it's better if we just use two class names instead. So instead of having all of these redefined we can just do that yeah i think uh i think it's i think it's better if we do that instead so let me just rename this to align center okay and now what i'll do is i'll just go ahead and type login and if i were to go to our browser you can see that the login page is now literally centered okay and that's because of this align centered class if i remove that you're gonna see it's gonna go back up top there Okay, so let's style up our uh, button. Let's make it look pretty. Uh, so I think what I'll do is, I'm not even sure if I'll need a div, but I'll leave it there for now. But I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Um, let's do padding set to 20 pixels. And I don't think it's actually going to, yeah, I don't think... If I just do button, because right now I'm referencing like the actual the actual selector, I'm using the button selector. I don't think it's actually going to pick up. So we'll actually need to use a class name, and that's totally fine. So class name, and then we're going to need to pass in the actual styles button as a property. So curly brace styles button. So we actually can't do button like this. It doesn't work like that with CSS modules. Okay, we actually need to reference it like an actual object property. So styles dot button, and then we should see the padding. There we go. Perfect. Let me zoom out a little bit. All right. So for the padding, uh, I'll do. Let's do maybe eighteen pixels, uh, top and bottom, and then for left and right, I'll try thirty six pixels, and then we'll do font size eighteen pixels. And then font family, DM sans. Okay. And then uh, let's see. 
I want the background color to... Let's try Inherit. And then the color... The like color... I think I could do Inherit as well. Okay. Outline... Uh, let's do None. The border... I'll do one pixel solid white and a border radius of four pixels okay cool okay so log in with discord and we should also i do want to add the discord icon there as well so um let me go ahead and grab that real quick i think for the icon we'll actually just use uh react icons so yarn add react hyphen icons because the uh, the Discord icon, we can just grab it as a font also icon, and I think that'll be even better. So let's import from React icons FA for font awesome FA Discord. Here we go, and then uh, let's see. Should be able to just add the. Icon like that. Wait, let me rerun the app real quick. Alright, so it's working, looking good so far. Let me go ahead and uh, change the size a little bit. Just want it to be a little bit bigger. And we'll go ahead and set display to flex, align items, center, see what that looks like. Okay, not bad. I do want there to be some spacing in between so we'll need justify content space between but the problem here is that uh there's not there's not enough space i think maybe we could what we could do is we could set the padding for left and right uh actually no let me actually set a fixed width so let's do with 300 pixels let me try a little bit bigger 400 pixels Nah, that's way too much. Let's try 370. Let's do 320. Yeah, 320 is fine. Let me decrease the uh, padding on the top and bottom. And we'll also do the same for left and right. Actually, left and right, we'll leave it alone. Um, actually, no... That's fine. Okay, cool. So, uh, and you can also change the color of this icon to the actual Discord, uh, the actual Discord's uh, logo icon. So I'll go ahead and change the icon color real quick. So uh, let's just do color and then hexadecimal. And uh, there we go. Cool. And then I can also just, just change the opacity of the border a little bit, just so it looks a little bit nicer. Uh, I wonder what happens if I change, if I were to change the color of this span. Uh, let me see. Oh, it's fine. We'll leave it like this for now. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it When it, with this login with Discord button. Okay. Again, like I said, you're going to have your own custom homepage. So, your homepage is obviously not going to be this simple. You're probably going to have like a client site, or not client site, like a guest nav bar. You're going to describe what your application does. You're going to have, you know, other, you know, guest pages, and then you're going to have, like, a login page. Okay, this is just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so the only thing that we'll have to do now is when the user clicks on this button, we should redirect them to our API. So, we'll just do, uh, to do handle login. Okay, but I want to let you all, you know, manage that yourself. I don't want to, you know, worry about all of the uh, the, the complex homepage because it's not really important. That's going to be custom. But obviously, I'll show you how to do the other stuff to like creating the menu page, creating the dashboard stuff. So when we click on uh, handle login, all we're going to do is just redirect the user to uh, window location. Href. So we're going to redirect the user to our uh, to the actual API route. So it's just going to be localhost slash localhost port 3000 slash API slash auth slash discord. 
So what happens is when we click on the button, it's just going to uh, navigate the user to our API route. Now remember this API route is going to redirect the user to the Discord platform because that's what Passport takes care of, okay? So if I click here, notice how it, redir it redirects us to our API, which redirects us to Discord. And when I click authorize, what should happen is it should redirect us back to our uh, to our uh, port 3000 to the next JS client side application. OK, but we'll worry about that later. All right. So that's going to be pretty much it for this uh, for this login with Discord. This is just a very simple, you know, home page. I don't want to overcomplicate it. I'll let you all, you know, take care of that yourself. The main functionality is just making sure that that button redirects the user to Discord. And that button can really be anything, okay? It doesn't have to be like this. It can just be up top over there, like a simple login button. But we're, again, like I said, I'll let you all take care of the homepage yourself. So in the next episode, we'll go ahead and build out the menu page. And that's where it's just gonna show all of the guilds for the user to uh, you know, select which one they wanna configure. So I'll see you all in that next episode. Peace out.